I find myself coming down to the last whiskey video of the night that I'm recording. I will probably drink some more after this. But first, I'm going to make this video. I have here the J.P. Weiser's 23-year-old cast strength blend. This was uh, released in 2019. But I'm making room for the 2020 releases from the Premium Spirits release. Now this one I found to be a hot mess until I added some water and tamed it down. And that addition of water made a big difference. It made it creamy and thick and luxurious and viscous. Right now, I just get some corn husks, some vanilla, mostly corn husks. In six months, this has I think mellowed. It has softened. It's still somewhat hot. But at what is it, sixty four point three percent? At sixty four point three percent alcohol by volume. It has a right to be hot, but it's not as hot as it was when I first opened the bottle. Yeah, mostly on the nose, that's what I get. A little bit of rice spice, a lot of corn husks. So it's safe to say that most of this blend is corn whiskey at cask strength. Now I'm going to add a bit of water. One spoon ought to do it. And that should make it really creamy, which is what it did to it the first time. Six months ago when I first tried it. The nose hasn't changed that much. The corn husks are still there, although maybe they're not as sharp as they were. I'm getting very little spice, very little rye. If there's rye in this blend, they didn't use a lot. Wait a minute, it's coming in now. There is some rye spice coming in, but it's not strong enough to give me either any of that mintiness or any of that dill. It's a lot more subtle than that. Right. What's happening now is it got a lot more creamy on the arrival, and now I'm getting a spicy finish, a spicy rye finish. And it's hanging on. So first it starts out creamy, and then after swallowing it, it's a big blast of rye spice that hangs on for quite a while. What's this missing? <clears throat> Excusing me, please. This is missing a bit of peat. I 
I'm going to do a little experiment. Oh, it's delicious now. It is just beautiful corn and a rye finish. That spicy rye finish. Mm. But it's creamy at first. It's creamy. Creamy, viscous. And then after swallowing, it's that rye finish. That rye finish that hangs on. What do we got for legs? Ooh. I think they're thick and long lasting. What this needs is some of this, some peat. I'm gonna give it some wee beastie to see if that makes any improvement on it. Because with wee beastie, all I got was some peat and not a lot of complexity. Let's see what that does to it. I'm experimenting just a little bit. Oh. Huh. Now I'm getting some peat on the nose, obviously. The peat dominates. Mm. At first I'm getting creaminess, smooth creaminess, creamy, 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 fills the mouth with uh, a smooth, slippery mouthfeel, and then the finish. Oh. The finish is a combination of rye spice and peat smoke. And it just hangs on and hangs on and hangs on and hangs on. And it doesn't want to let go. It wants to just stay there. Oh. Mmm. That's what the Wiser's 23 needed. A little bit of peat. Now I know what Wee Beastie is good for. There's a little bit of citrus too. A little bit of citrus on the nose brought on by the Wheat Beastie. Is it a lime citrus? No, it's more of a lemon citrus. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. And there's that beautiful creaminess from the Wiser's 23. A bit of corn husks, a little bit of rice spice, but then after swallowing, that's when the peat smoke just kicks in. and adds to that spicy rye finish and the finish hangs on and hangs on and hangs on wow what a beauty this is and here's the bonus i still have a dram left <laughs> That's the bonus. Uh, it's going to be sad to say goodbye to this. But space had to be made on the bar for new arrivals, for new things, new experiences, and new flavors. Still itchy. Yeah. Well, what does our cheers box say today? Popeye! That sounded to me like a gun pie. Food quick. 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 Food quick.